everyone let's start today's discussion tech in 5 minutes in today's discussion we will talk about data catalog and data map the data map serves as a back backbone for microsoft purview it is an automated system that scans and maps data across your entire environment whether on prem in the cloud or in saas application here is what it makes it powerful so if i quickly give you a quick demo if i go to the data map i have built a solution here you know where i have uh, just to demonstrate the power of it, it i'm able to visualize uh, where my google bigquery is residing and it belongs to google gcp platform and then this is the entire hierarchy similarly i'm having couple of uh, resources which are residing in azure so i'm having azure sql database azure blog storage now I have uh, I'm able to build the entire hierarchy about this uh, resource as well. Not only that, I will be able to scan these resources using uh, power of uh, uh, data catalog and data map, and I will be able to visually see the technical metadata that is residing in these systems. So, for anyone who is looking at these uh, solutions, first of all, using the uh, data map, you will be able to get the centralized visibility. It provides a unified view of all your data resources, ensuring you know where your data resides, metadata enrichments. As it scans your data, it collects and enriches metadata, making it easier to categorize and understand your data assets. Data lineage, it shows the full life cycle of your data, tracing where it came from, how it is transformed and where it is used. This is crucial for auditing and compliance perspective. Now, similarly, when we talk about uh, data catalog, the data catalog complements the data map by creating user-friendly interface for data discovery and collaboration. If I quickly show you this uh, data catalog, you can see here, uh, whatever resources I have scanned, I'm having the entire data here. If I want to look or search for any term here, I can simply go search for this particular uh, term. I want to, um, if I'm searching for customer, I can search here and it will quickly show me where all it is able to find the customer this particular term customer customer address sales order headers in couple of recent uh, ai solutions you might be seeing this uh, whenever we are searching for a term it is not matching the exact pattern it is trying to see like the what is the uh, context or for what reason you are searching for that for example if you are searching for a uh, customer maybe uh, the customer name is coming uh, in some longer term or if it is coming uh, in between somewhere so you see here it is giving a sales order header also but in this sales order header also you are having this uh, column customer id so that way it is able to give us precise search results now you can uh, you know uh, filter again uh, those resources depending on uh, what kind of data you are looking for it makes it a little easier so as you talk about data catalog, the data catalog complements the data map by creating user-friendly user interface for data discovery and collaboration. And not only this, it helps you in searching and discovering. Users can easily search for data, data sets based on keywords, metadata, or even classification if you want to search based on that. It gives you curated insights. It allows you to uh, annotate, tag, and share data sets, enabling better collaboration across teams. Trans trust and transparency with features like data lineage and quality scores, user can trust the data they are accessing for their analytics or reporting needs. Together, these features enable organizations to achieve a comprehensive and effective data governance strategy you can quickly uh, look at you know these solutions uh, for your data governance journey i'm sure uh, this will you will be having a lot many questions i'm happy to answer uh, if you are having any uh, questions or if you are working on a project and you are stuck at certain point where you need some inputs feel free to uh, post your queries or questions in chat or even if you are just visiting my page and looking at these uh, uh, quick five minutes uh, tech bullets just give your feedback you know what kind of uh, information you are looking into these um, tech um, bullets i will try i will try to make sure that i'm covering them in case you are not happy with this uh, content you are not liking the information that i'm sharing or the way i'm sharing it feel free to add those notes as well it will help me in improving and making sure that my future content is more relevant more uh, impactful and helping more and more audience thank you so much for visiting this site uh, see you tomorrow with next 5 minutes tech